Welcome to Heidi Relationships. Today, we'll read some more stories from Reddit. But before we start, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and maybe leave a comment down below. That would help the channel a lot. Thank you very much in advance. The first one is titled, Am I the jerk for kicking out my mill in the middle of the night? Some background I, 32M, and my wife, 25F, have been together for five years and married for three and are expecting our son right now. We have our ups and downs when we first got together because I was fresh out of an abusive relationship, and I was her first boyfriend, but I had always noticed that she was really demeaning about herself, and she was always really disappointed in herself, and this was just six months into our relationship, and it hurt to see her like that since she is an amazing woman. I convinced her to go to therapy and to her, we would do couple therapy because I did really love her in the short amount of time, and during therapy, I learned that her parents were narcissists who only loved her brother their golden child and when she relayed the abuse she faced I honestly cried and that whole experience made us the strong couple we are today and the strong woman she is today. Back to present my Mill and Phil have gotten a little better over the years which is why we are at LC from our NC position. My Mill came to visit us, they live overseas, since my wife is pregnant and it has been only a week and my wife's mood is completely dimmed. This happened at night when we were sleeping my wife went to get some juice since she was craving it while I went to the washroom and came back to see a glass on the floor and my mill shouting at my wife. I couldn't handle my anger and shouted at her to get out and told her if she didn't I was gonna call the police, so she begrudgingly got out of the house. I calmed my wife down and she told me Mill had gotten mad at her cause she wanted to drink apple juice because it's bad for the baby and how she doesn't deserve to have a baby if she wanted to kill it. I am now getting calls from her family saying I am in butthole because I kicked her out and I even got a call from my parents saying it was in butthole move and I could have let her stay the night and I understand I might be the butthole because I kicked her out in the middle of the night but at that moment looking at my wife shaking it was the best option. So, Reddit am I the butthole? A user in the comments said, NTA. Your in-laws are toxic people. I'm proud of you for protecting your wife from their garbage. They don't deserve a place in your family's life. Another user said, NTA. It sounds like your mill really only came over to control your wife and what she does during her pregnancy. If she didn't want to get kicked out, she should have acted like, oh I don't know, a respectable human being. Up you and your wife get zero fifths buttholes and your mill gets four fifths buttholes. The next one is titled, Update, am I the butthole for kicking out my mill in the middle of the night? A lot has happened since I posted, me and my wife went to therapy where she told me the reason she accepted her mother's request to come because she saw how her mom treated her brother's kids, so she wanted that for our son too and she really did believe that her mother had changed for the better but as explained by our therapist that some narcissists refuse to change. My wife and I have written one letter and sent it to every one of her family members who had told us we were in the wrong which basically said that her mother never cared for her and never would and we didn't want that around our children and my wife wrote about several instances where she was subjected to emotional abuse and even though everyone knew no one did anything except for her grandma, her father's mother. She said she is tired of always being the bigger one but now she would be selfish for herself and our child and if anyone disagrees they are welcome to cut contact as she wouldn't miss people like that in her life. Something which shocked both of us was when her father called and asked what happened and she narrated everything her father being the typical narcissist tried to gaslight but with my support and her therapy she put her foot down and asked her father if he had ever cared about her because it never felt like they did. She narrated every instance from her childhood to her adulthood where she was subjected to emotional abuse and how her brother always came before her. Her dad was silent throughout the call and in the end, all my wife said that for her currently, she doesn't have parents and hung up. By the end all my wife did was cry and I cried with her. I also called my parents asking how could they not take my side knowing the history because they really love my wife which is why it was hard listening I'm in the wrong and they told me that it was because her mother had called them in hysterics and told I was physical with her. I was not, after learning the truth from me they came over to apologize and my mother held my wife. I am a single child so I and my wife are everything to them. I would like to point out in the metropolitan area and there are plenty of hotels, so I wasn't worried about my mill finding a hotel she'd loaded money isn't an issue. For now, we are just waiting for the little one to be born and my wife is much happier and free from her toxic family. The next one is titled, WIBTA if I told a close family friend that her husband cheated on her four years ago? 
So, my situation is a little difficult so I thought I would confide in the good professional people of Reddit. Couple days ago, me and my brother were hanging out late night doing regular guy things drinking, watching sports, etc. We haven't seen each other in maybe 5 to 6 years so naturally we started talking about life and what's been going on the past few years. Towards the end of our conversation, we started to get to the secrets. I mentioned something along the lines that I smoked weed for the first time and did various other substances. This was hard for me to tell because my whole life I was pretty much anti-drugs and such. We both laughed about it saying, just don't let mom find out, the joke died out after a little bit and then he just blurted out, I cheated on my wife. At first it didn't register until I saw his face and he was dead serious. I for one hate cheaters, but I try to do my best not to judge anyone for their actions. He begins explaining this was something that happened about four years ago when his wife was always busy with work. She would travel a lot and be away for weeks at a time. He told me they were going through a tough time back then lots of arguing, not communicating, and that he felt really lonely. During this same time my brother met a girl at his local gym, started off as friends, slowly kept bonding and you guessed they did the sex. He told me this occasion only happened once and pretty much cut her off after that night because he started to feel guilty for a short while. Few months later his relationship turned for the better for him and his wife. Pretty much after his wife's travels slowed down his whole relationship has been great. They've both gotten promotions, bought a house, more family vacations. They have a kid, he told me life has been good to him now and he's just thankful things have finally worked out. As stated before I hate cheaters and I've always felt that the person being cheated on always has the right no. I know for sure this would probably destroy their marriage and there would be a fight for the kid. My heart tells me I have to tell her because it's the right thing to do, especially because I've known my brother to cheat one other time on an ex-girlfriend couple years before his current wife. My brain tells me it's none of my business and I should keep my mouth shut. I don't want to see their kid go throughout that kind pain either. On one hand I betray my brother if I say something on the other hand I betray our close family friend because I know this secret and I don't say anything. I wish he never told me, ignorance is truly bliss. So, there it is, WIBTA if I said something? A user in the comments said, YTA if you tell her now. I am usually on the side of the cheated partner absolutely deserves to know. But here it seems to be a thing in the past, your brother has genuinely regretted it and improved his marriage. So, it's better if you don't stir the pot now. Another user said, YTA, if you did this you would be doing it solely for your own sense of self-righteousness. Follow your brain. He told you in confidence, he knows it was a mistake, and he is your brother. You may think she has a right to know, but she might not want to know, you just don't know and sometimes ignorance really is bliss. Don't turn her life upside down for your own purposes. The next one is titled, Am I the butthole for not forgiving my husband, 26 meters, for a mistake and not trusting him with our child? I, 24F gave birth to my daughter six months ago and it should have been the happiest moment in my life. When my daughter was born her skin was very dark and looked like she could have two biological parents who were of African descendant. My husband Jim, 26 meters, fake name, was furious and accused me of cheating and left right then and there. He told everyone on both sides of the family what happened, made posts on social media and wanted a divorce. His family and a lot of our friend all called to say how upset they were at me and called me really nasty names. My mother was by my side the entire time and I kept professing my innocence. Jim refused to pick me up from the hospital, threw my stuff out on the lawn and changed the locks, so I had to stay with my parents. When my sister called to ask for the baby stuff Jim texted me pictures of the bare nursery room and said he got rid of everything. He even destroyed my art studio, I like to paint and the art I made and told me my work would be too awful to sell. I was distraught and tried to focus on my baby. Weeks went by and Jim refused to speak to me directly and has never once asked about our child. Eventually he agreed to do a paternity and he was 100% the father. No one could believe the results and it was done again, Jim's the dad. Around that same time one of Jim's cousins did the ancestry thing and there was around 30% of African ancestry in the family. 
This combined with the test Jim's paternal great-grandmother admitted to having an affair around the time Jim's grandfather was born and was because he could pass she just assumed her husband was the father. Since then, Jim has been reaching out and everyone has come to apologize, and while it did feel good to feel vindicated the damage has been done. I can't unhear or unsee all the horrible things that was said and done. Not just to me but to my child as well. Jim made some very racist remarks. Things that I thought he'd never say, and he did it so easily. Regardless of what our daughter looks like I don't want her to be around that. What else will Jim and his family say or do the next time they get mad? How are they going to treat our daughter when she does something that upsets them? Jim has been begging for forgiveness. I said I needed time, he asked to see the baby and I let him but I'm too afraid to physically hand her to him. He's repairing the nursery and keeps asking me what I would like, and I cry every time saying we already had what I liked and some of the items that we had can't be replaced. He asked me if I still loved him, and I admitted that he showed me his worst self and I don't know if I could live with that image. I didn't mean to be hurtful but it's how I feel. My sister suggested couples therapy, but I don't feel like I should have to work to fix something that I didn't break. I've never cheated and have been 100% innocent in all of this the whole. Am I the butthole for not wanting to give Jim a second chance? Update 1. I stepped away for a few hours and couldn't believe what I came back to. I am truly amazed by all the wonderful comments of support as well as the private messages. I also understand why some people may think this is fake and all I can say is that you are free to believe what you want in this. I also see some questions and I think I should clarify a few things just in case your judgment may change. All of this initially happened at the near February, and I was already settled at my parents' house before the pandemic hit. One of the reasons Jim wouldn't pick me up from the hospital was because I wouldn't admit to cheating or give him any details, because there weren't any which made him angrier. Based on the pictures Jim sent me he didn't take a sledgehammer to the crib or anything. He just took stuff down to either return it for the money or gave it away. While deeply hurtful I wouldn't call it violent, but maybe it is. Online he announced that I pushed out a dark-skinned baby and was going to he was divorce me. His family started with the racial comments and eventually he started doing it too but only through my family, he refused to speak to me directly. Once the truth came out everything he and his family posts were all taken down but I, and a few friends, still have the screenshots. Jim never wrote down his racial remarks. While he didn't say any of the racist words he did make comments about our daughter being a welfare princess, and how I was going to be just another baby mama. Just to clarify, Jim is white, and I am at least half white. One of my parents is adopted and with everything that's happened they decided to do the ancestry thing too and we should be getting the results any day now. Update 2. Spelling errors. Update 3. Mod denied separate post so it's here as an edit. Thank you so for all your words of encouragement a couple months back, both in posts and the DMs. A lot of things have happened since my initial post, and I just needed time to process it and be in a place where I can write about on social media. So here it goes. First, my parent who was adopted did the Ancestry 23 thing and it turns out that Jim wasn't the only one who had African ancestry. My parent had at least 45%, which means I have at least 20%. I am legally separated from my husband with primary custody, and I'm living with my parents until further notice. He still keeps apologizing and wants me to come back to the house, he even offered to leave so I could stay with our daughter, but I don't want to and really like having the support of my parents. My dad is retired so he does a lot of the babysitting while my mother and I work remotely. I do go to the house every so often so Jim can see his daughter and for couples counseling via telecom. In one of the sessions Jim confessed something really hurtful and some of you guessed right, he cheated. It was while we were dating, before he proposed, and his treatment towards me was a projection. It was with an ex-girlfriend who had cheated on him, and he hooked up with her as an ego boost. He started to feel guilty but was too scared that I would walk away to ever confess. Jim also admitted that he was scared when I got pregnant, our baby wasn't planned, was very anxious about being a father, but just pretended to be excited because he didn't want to look like an A. My husband was so willing to believe that our daughter wasn't his because he thought he had an out. Now that he knows that our child is his and has spent time with her Jim regrets everything and just wants his family back and is willing to spend the rest of his life making it up to us. 
This was all deeply hurtful, and I've cried about it more than once. Jim has been lying to me and my ability to trust him hasn't improved at all. When the holidays came around Jim's parents asked about seeing their grandchild and I didn't want to. They told me that it was selfish of me to keep her away and I reminded them of their past. They said that they've already apologized and tried to minimize the situation. They said that I can't be angry forever and that I need to learn to forgive them. I'm so ashamed of ever loving and marrying into this family and wonder why I didn't see this before. I've decided to contact a lawyer and will be filing for divorce after my daughter's first birthday. A user in the comments said, NTA, you know that old saying, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. What he's shown you is that he is unapologetically racist and has a hell of a temper. And, and this matters a lot, he's shown that he doesn't trust you. I'd say you learned a very valuable lesson about your daughter's father and his family. Go with your gut on this, can you let your daughter be exposed to someone like that? If the answer is yes, then you can find a way through. If the answer is a hard no, then you are not beholden to staying with him whatsoever. The next one is titled, Am I the butthole for taking my stepdaughter to the hospital without her mother's permission? Me, M32, and my wife, 38, have been married for almost a year. I have two children, a boy, 14, and a girl, 12, that have stayed most of the year with their mom, my ex-wife, while my wife has a daughter, Roxy, 16. My wife has never gotten along with Roxy, they are not close and don't have a good relationship. Both me and my wife kept working this year with Roxy staying alone at home most of the day. Roxy is a great kid, I am not close to her but she is sweet, quiet and has been great with both me and my children, I'd say we get along. Last week she started complaining about a bad stomachache, at first we thought it could be anxiety, she has a history of mental illness, or something she ate, nothing serious but at the next day she wasn't any better, my wife said it was probably just a stomach flu and that she would get better and started talking about how Roxy used to be so dramatic when she was a child. Long story short, she is still sick, doesn't get better and ends up calling me on the phone while I'm at work. When she called me she was literally bawling, complaining about her stomach hurting, I obviously called my wife, she didn't pick up, and went home to check on Roxy as soon as I could. I took her to the ER and turns out it's her appendix. My wife finally picks up, I explain to her what happened, she gets hysterical, screaming about how Roxy is her daughter and not mine, that she would have taken her to the hospital later and that I should have waited for her or should have waited until she picked up before doing anything and complaining about how I overstepped with her daughter. I do see how she might think that I overstepped given the fact that, as I said, I'm not close to her and still don't know her very well but at the same time we couldn't contact her, and it was an emergency. She is still mad at me, saying that I'm in butthole and that I disrespected her as a mother and honestly it's making me doubt if what I did was right or I should have waited. I was able to contact her like 30 minutes later so we wouldn't have waited much time, am I the butthole? Update. First of all, I tried to reply to as many comments as I could, I didn't thought this many people would read it. I took everyone's advice and recommendations. Honestly I didn't think I would have an update this soon, a lot has happened and I'm not sure where to start. Roxy is okay, physically at least. The recovery was pretty painful, but she is happy that she doesn't have a huge scar. I also discovered that she had been in a lot of pain for a day and a half before she told us, I don't know how she did it and I feel really guilty over that. She has also been working more with her therapist that she has been seeing since January over another thing, has a new diagnosis and will start on new meds soon so she has a lot going on. Her birthday was a few days after I made the original post and so she is now 17 and is currently staying at a friend's place, I'm pretty sure that they're dating, after a really bad discussion that she had with her mom. I don't know for how long she will stay there but she took lots of her things. I will get a divorce soon, Roxy's mom wants one. She was cheating on me, I had my suspicions for a few months, and she asked for a divorce before I could. I'm currently staying with my ex-wife and my bio children while I look for a new place, Roxy didn't want to come with me and once I find a place, it's all up to her but she is welcome to live with me. Her mom will start therapy next year as her new year's goal, but Roxy has already told me that she had been planning for years to cut her off once she turns 18. I found out a few other things and situations from the past that happened between them and tbh I can't blame Roxy. We talked about adoption too but again, 
she is not sure about it and given her age, I don't know if that's still an option. We do talk every day and became closer, but she is still really shy towards me. She also will go back to one of her jobs soon and I will still get her a car for Christmas. A user in the comments said, I know I'm late to this, but if my so took my son to the hospital because he needed to go, and they couldn't get in contact with me, I would be extremely grateful. Especially with something as serious as this. You very well saved her daughter's life. She was never intending to take her. And that's why she is mad. Your wife has control issues. I think you need to think about this. NTA. And you are a good person. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the relationship stories. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and write a comment. I really appreciate your support and it helps my channel so much. Thank you.